Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a raspberry cream cheese tart. This tart starts with a buttery crisp shortbread crust and then we're going to fill it with fresh raspberries and a smooth and creamy custard like filling that contains cream cheese. We're going to start with our shortbread crust. Now you can make this by hand or a really quick and easy way is to use your food processor. So the first thing you need is one cup that's 130 grams of all-purpose flour. You may know that as plain flour. And just put that in there. And you will need a third of a cup, 35 grams of confectioner sugar. You may know that as either, either powdered or icing sugar. Put that in there. And just a pinch of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon. Now, if you're going to do this by hand, just whisk in a large bowl, just uh, whisk your ingredients together. I'm just going to pulse them. Simple enough. And then next, I'm going to add a half a cup, that's 113 grams of cold butter. Make sure it's cold. And you can use salted or unsalted. And then just cut it into small, little small chunks. And that way, you can incorporate it much easier into your flour mixture. Now, if you're going to do this by hand, you want to cut your butter into your flour. You can use either a pastry blender or you could just use your fingertips. And what we're going to do is just blend it in, or I'm just going to pulse it in until it's, the mixture starts to form clumps. You don't want one big, large mass, but just small clumps. Okay, that looks good. As you can see here, it, it's not like one big lump of dough, it's little clumps. So that's what you're looking for. So now what you will need is either an eight or a nine inch, which is 20 or 23 centimeter um, tartan with the removable bottom. Because this is nice, because then it's so easy to remove the sides of your pan once we're done. Now, I, because this is so buttery, I don't bother to grease my pan. If you're a little worried that it will stick, by all means, you could butter it or spray it with one of those uh, non-stick vegetable sprays. And then what we're going to do is just pat it evenly into your uh, tart pan and up the sides. Hey, yeah, that looks... You want it pretty even. Now, the sides, you know, when you tend to press it around, you might get it too thick. So what I do is just take my finger and just kind of run it down so it's not, that way I can check and make sure it's not too thick on the sides there. So just do that all the way around. And then you can just press. And then I like to take a spoon and just smooth it out. That way you can get that nice edge corner. So it's a like that. And then just that way you can also check to make sure it's even thickness throughout the whole tart shell. Or at least we can try. <laughs> To make it even. It doesn't always work, but okay. And then that looks pretty good. So then what we're gonna do so that the um, we're gonna pre-bake this tart shell. So what I'm gonna do is prick the bottom with the tines of a fork, just gently. Don't go all the way through, and that way this will prevent the uh, tart shell from puffing up as it bakes. So just like so. And then I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I'm gonna cover it and put it in the freezer and we'll get it nice and cold before we bake it off. And so that's about 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. So while this is in the freezer, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 220 degrees Celsius. So now we're ready to 
pre-bake our shortbread crust. So just take off the plastic wrap. I like to put uh, it on a larger baking sheet, mainly because of that removable bottom. It makes it a lot easier to put it in the oven. Now, normally it, when you pre-bake a uh, pastry crust, you have to line it with parchment and put pie weights. You don't have to do that here because we did freeze the uh, shells so, so it's nice and firm and then we prick the bottom so it won't puff up. So now bake it for about 13 to 15 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Okay our shortbread crust is now done. So just let it cool on a wire rack like that and reduce your oven temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. And I'm just gonna let this cool for a few minutes. And when we come back, we will make our filling. So now for our filling, I'm going to make it in uh, my food processor. You could also just use a hand mixer for this. What you will need is um, four ounces, 115 grams of full fat cream cheese and just have that at room temperature. And I'm just going to beat that along with a half a cup, which is 100 grams of granulated white sugar, just until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Okay, pretty easy. <laughs> And then now I'm going to add like just a pinch of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon, and then a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, a little flavoring. If you don't want vanilla flavor, just leave that out. You could also add, if you want, like a teaspoon of uh, finely grated like orange or lemon or lime zest. That would be nice with the raspberries. And I'm also going to add right now um, two large eggs. Have those at room temperature. I'm just going to scrape that and I'm just going to beat this just until it's processed just till it's smooth if you're using a hand mixer just beat it until it's nice and smooth okay that looks good just gonna scrape down as you can see, a food processor really makes quick work of this. Okay, I'm just going to beat that just for a second longer. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to add is two thirds of a cup, which is 160 milliliters of cream. Now you could use a light cream, half and half heavy cream because uh, really what it's going to affect is how rich tasting and creamy do you want your um, filling to be. I'm actually using a combination, I think I use like half uh, light cream, half heavy. It's kind of in between. So I'm just going to beat that until it's mixed together. And that's it. So now, what we're going to do is just pour this into our crust. Now you didn't have to let your uh, crust cool completely, mine's still a little warm. Just make sure if you're um, using a food processor, put your finger underneath so that blade doesn't, or hold it so it doesn't make a mess and fall into your tart. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to um, add some fresh raspberries. About six ounces, uh, which is about 170 grams. If you wanna go by cups, that's about one and a half cups, 360 milliliters of fresh raspberries. Don't forget to wash them and remove any ones that are really soft. Now, you don't have raspberries, you don't like raspberries, you could use any type of fruit really here. Other berries, blueberries or blackberries, or you could actually mix them. You could use peaches, nectarines, either chunks or slices. So this is kind of a tart that you could make year round with whatever's available.
actually it's pretty good even if you don't put fruit in it and just then it just kind of makes it like a custard tart okay that looks pretty good fit in a few more As you know I love raspberries so now what we want to do is bake this until the uh, custard is set and that takes about 30 35 minutes so what you want to do to make sure it's set is just gently you can kind of shake the pan just very gently and that way if it doesn't jiggle a lot then you know it's set so now what we're going to do about 30 35 minutes Okay, our tart is done. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So the way you know, like I said, is if you kind of shake the pan and it doesn't wobble. In the center, if it's just a little wobbly, that's fine. Now, what we're going to do is let it sit on a wire rack and let it cool, you know, probably 20, 30 minutes because we want that custard to set. And when we come back, we will try a slice. So now I've let the tart cool for about a half hour. One thing, uh, quick note, if you would like to brown the top of your tart to give it a little color, what you can do is just sip some powdered sugar over the top and then put it under uh, the broiler of your oven until it becomes nice and caramelized and brown. Although I just, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it's great. So to uh, remove the sides of the uh, tart pan, what I like to do is just take, uh, like a ramkin or, or anything, turn it upside down. And if you put your thing, your tart on there, what happens is the sides just fall away really nice and easily. And then we will cut it. It's still a little warm. And you can serve this warm, uh, room temperature, cold. I mean, I like it always. I, <laughs> it's good no matter what. So. There we go. Oh, mm, gorgeous. The custard's still a little soft and nice and warm. And if you like, you can sift a little powdered sugar over the top, serve it with some, um, fre some fresh raspberries if you want to decorate your plate, or some whipped cream. Or... But I think it's just great plain. That's delicious. <laughs> you got that crisp, buttery, crisp shortbread crust. Of course, the, the fresh raspberries, a little tart and tangy there. And then the custard filling, it's creamy smooth. A really nice uh, combination of textures, flavors. So if you have any leftovers, you can store them in the fridge. They're great cold, as I said, or just warm them up again. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Thank you.